हेलो यस सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग the linear combination of other vectors now again what is what do you know by linear combination of vectors that is the vectors when multiplied with some scalar suppose i i multiply the first row first vector with c so it will be c 0 and 3c we multiply the second vector with suppose c1 so it will be 4c1 minus c1 and 5c2 now if i add them or subtract them whatever manner by choosing c1 c2 suitably and by adding and subtracting any two vectors if i can generate the third one from any two from any two if i can generate the third one then we say that the third vector which is generated is not independent it can be generated it can be expressed as a linear combination of the other two so in that case the row space vectors are dependent now if all the row space vectors are independent the rank of the matrix will be the number of independent vectors the rank of the matrix will be number of independent vectors okay now if there are some vectors which are dependent that amount will be reduced suppose there are one vector which are dependent to other so that vector number will be reduced in that case rank of the vector will be 3 minus 1 if there are two vectors dependent to an, uh, one only okay there is only one vector and other two vectors can be generated from this then the rank of the matrix will be only one so the rank of the matrix is deeply associated with the number of independent vectors if i see uh, to the uh, row space as a as to the row, row rows of a vector matrix as a row space and if i uh, think over the think on the uh, think about the row vectors okay so we can we can see that we can infer that this row vectors will be either dependent or independent and the rank of the matrix is actually equal to the number of independent vectors present in the row space of the matrix okay so now in this uh, text actually the definition of rank of a matrix is not given in this way 
that is why I discussed this thing before but in this actually in engineering mathematics this is not done but that should be actually read in this way so now let me let me uh, again introduce the rank of the vector in a conventional way what is done in normally in books so for any uh, uh, matrix a not necessarily square it can be a rectangular matrix with our m on n m cross n m row n column m may be equal to may not be equal to n Suppose A is one such matrix, rectangular matrix, the rank of A is defined to be the greatest positive integer R. It is the greatest positive integer R such that A has at least one non-zero minor of order R. Now remember, minor are always defined to be square. Minor cannot be rectangular. Minor is defined to be square. Okay. So there should be at least one R order minor which is not equal to zero. Suppose in a matrix A, if I find the determinant of a matrix, that is, suppose the matrix is square matrix, in otherwise the rank of the matrix or determinants obviously not be equal to the uh, order of the, uh, suppose, suppose this A has the matrix of order 4 by 3, 4 by 3. So there is no, there is any chance to find a determinant of order 4 in that matrix? If when the matrix is of order 4 by 3, what is the max, maximum order of determinant possible to find? Tell me. 3 by 3. 3 by 3. So minor cannot be found of order 4 by 4. So that matrix of order 4 by 3 cannot have a rank 4. This is meaningless. So a matrix of order M cross N will have at, at most the rank of the matrix can be the maximum of M on A, sorry, minimum of M and N, minimum of M on N. And if the M and N are equal, then the, the question is not that. Then M and N, the, there can be one uh, determinant of order N also and less than N also. So whatever be the case, if there exists one minor, that is determinant, uh, square matrix, square submatrix of order R, which is non-zero, then the rank of the matrix A will be R. Suppose in case of a 4 by 3 matrix, all 3 by 3 minors are 0. Okay. So in the matrix rank of the matrix will, will not be 3. It is less than 3. Then if I can find at least one 2 by 2 matrix is non-zero, then the mat rank of the matrix will be 2. Otherwise, if all the 2 by 2 matrix are non-zero, then rank of matrix will be even less than 2. It is 1. So when the mat rank of the 0, can you say? Tell me anyone, what is the, when the mat rank of the matrix may be zero? But which type of matrix, the rank is zero? Null matrix. Yes, very good. The null matrix will always have the rank zero because there is no sub matrix which is non-zero. And wh when the matrix will be of order one, rank one? Unity matrix. Uh, not unity, if, there's, if there is at least one, one by one, that is at least one non-zero element at least one non-zero element if there exists then only if i take a minor of one by one order that means one by one order means the particular element only one element isn't it not one by one means the element so if if i have one element non-zero the matrix will have the rank one if the matrix have at least two by two square matrix inside that matrix then that will be rank two this way okay so it is obviously implied that if the rank of the matrix is r then every minor of order greater than or equal to r plus 1 will be zero r plus 1 or greater than r plus 1 will be zero so the rank of the matrix follow this cursor this is the key line rank of matrix a will be satisfying this inequality zero less than this it can be at most zero not less than zero meaningless zero less than rank a less than or equal to the minimum of mn the minimum of m n, where the m and n are the order of the matrix, m row, n column, whichever is less. Okay, because the higher order uh, sub minor cannot be found. I think this is very clear to you. Suppose the matrix is having two by three matrix, so three order minor is not possible to find. So the maximum possible rank can be two or less than two, it's one or zero.
and obviously rank of a is equal to rank of a transpose because a is a transpose is there is no change because we have always transfer a to a transpose the basic properties of the bit matrix are not changed by transposing the rows into columns so rank of a will be equal to rank of a transpose obviously a and a t will have identical minors okay now i'm again coming to that point suppose a is equal to a square matrix 3 by 3 so how to find first of all what is the maximum possible minor present here tell me maximum possible order square matrix Two by two. Why two by two? No, why not three by three? The matrix uh, yes, itself. Three by three. Three by three. Yes, the yes, sir. Three, right? yes, sir. So, uh, so, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the maximum possible order. So the square matrix can have the rank equal to the order. Keep in your mind. Keep it in your mind. The square matrix can have a matrix or, or rank equal to its order. Uh, when it will be less than three, so very simple to show, so very simple to see that if determinant of a is equal to zero, that means this minor is zero. Determinant of a is zero. That means there is no non-zero minor of rank uh, order three. So the rank will be less than three. Now, if you have any second order matrix minor not equal to zero, for example, in this case, they have taken this matrix one zero four minus one. I can take other matrix minus one five zero six or one three two six anyone any one minor which is not equal to zero if i can at least if i can find at least one so i can say the rank of a will be equal to zero, two so it means that the number of dependent vectors is one and number of independent vectors is two this is the interpretation okay this this, this at this point this way i can link the matrix with the vector space this is very important okay take another example like a a is equal to 2, 3, minus 1, 1, 3, 0, 4, 2, and 6, 9, minus. It's a, it's a 3 by 4 matrix. 3 by 4 matrix. So maximum possible rank possible is 3. Maximum possible rank possible is 3. Now, but you can see that it is it has not been shown here. It has not been shown here. It is written only. Every minor of order 3 is 0. So how many 3 order matrix? Suppose this one. 2, 3, minus 1, 3, 0, 4, 6, 9, minus. You can check the determinant of this thing is 0. Again, if you take this one, 3 minus 1, 1, 0, 4, 2, 9 minus 3, 3. Again, it will be 0. If I take this one, 2, 3, 1, 3, 0, 2, 6, 9, 3. This will be again 0. Okay. So the all possible way, if I can if I can choose the third order minors, everything, if all of them are 0, it has been checked. It is not shown here. Calculations are not shown here. You can check it. You can verify this thing. All three order minors are 0. Then again, the rank of the of this matrix is less than three. Okay, but you can see that any there exists a second order minor two three three zero for example or four two minus three three, which are the determinant of which is not equal to zero. So the rank of a is two. In this case also, the rank of a is two. Okay, now you will see so it is very cumbersome that if I if I are given a four by four matrix and if the rank is two, then it will take much time to verify that where all the four 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 by four, all the three by three matrix or zero. So this way it is not done. It is just for given for definition. Okay. So how to find the rank that we will find later. Okay. There is a very convenient way to find the rank. That I am coming that point by reducing a matrix to row echelon form. And I will discuss later. Okay. So I hope the concept of matrix is clear to all and how to how to define it. OK. Any question on that rank of the matrix definition? OK, then. Oh, next, next we will discuss how to how to calculate the rank, how to find the rank, even for a small matrix or even for a large matrix, what is the convenient way? Okay, The convenient way is to reduce or convert, reduce or convert the matrix to a corresponding row echelon matrix. Row echelon matrix, okay, it will be very simple. I will just, I will explain you from this matrix example, okay. Just follow that. Now, I touch it. 
Preceding the first non-zero elements. After the non-zero element, what are the number of zero? That is not the issue. I am not interested. I am only counting the number of zero before the first non-zero element. Tell me, what is the number for the first row? One. One. What is the number for the second row? Three. Three, sir. Three. And what is three, the number sir. for the three? And what is the number for the third row? There is no preceding element, no, so sir. I can I could I could include all. So five. So this number of zero preceding the first non-zero element is increasing, row by row, as we are scanning through first row to last row. Is it clear to all? Tell me. Then again, I am telling the number of zeros preceding the first non-zero element are increasing as we are scanning through first row to last row from left to right. This is a common characteristics for row echelon matrix. This is the basically the definition of row echelon matrix. See the same thing, same thing is true for second matrix also. What is the number of zero preceding the first non-zero element? Tell me. Zero, sir. Zero. Then three. Three. Then three. Four. 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 Then six. Five. Six. 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 Okay. Okay. So these are row reduced echelon matrix or simply row echelon matrix okay now in order to find the rank we have to reduce the matrix into this row echelon form now during this conversion it two things can happen one is that the row echelon form is achieved but still there is no row with all zero suppose there is a five in the last term is a five okay it can be no problem it is it is satisfying the row echelon form so row, row echelon form two things can happen one is that uh, when you are converting this using the row operations, I will discuss this thing. Then one thing can happen that all the rows are zero, and maybe that maybe that sometime more than one row is zero. All the zero, all the elements are zero. These are called null row. These are called null rows. Okay, and it can be even that uh, none of the rows are all null row. There are zeros increasing obviously, but there are some preceding. Uh, uh, non-zero elements also in each row. In each row, there is some at least one non-zero elements. Okay, these two things can happen. Now, if if there are no null rows, after reducing the row echelon matrix, after reducing the matrix to row echelon form, if I get no null rows, then what is the mat what is the rank of the matrix? Rank of the matrix is the number of rows having all non-null elements. Number of rows. Okay. And if I get one or more null rows, the number of uh, rank of the matrix will be total number of row, total number of row. Okay, I'm not now counting here order. Total number of row minus number of null rows. Number of null rows. Okay. For example, what is the rank of this matrix according to this new calculation? Tell me. Two. two because there are two non null rows and one null rows so there are total three rows minus one null rows two here for the second matrix three three three, three. because one, one null rows all are but non null rows okay so this way we will find the rank of a matrix which is very simple and why it is simple this row operations are very simple let me tell you So let us calculate this problem. Apply elementary row operations to reduce the following matrix to row echelon form. What is elementary row operations? All of you know. What is that? Tell me. Elementary row operations or elementary column operations, same thing because any matrix can be transposed. What are those? 
first operation is interchange of any two matrix. Interchange, sorry, sorry, interchange of any two rows. Okay, or interchange of any two columns. I will, I will not mention column here. Okay, I will just because it is, it is advisory that it is advisable that when you are using row operation, you continue to do row operations only. Don't mix up row and column operation. That may actually theoretically there is no problem, but practically that may be uh, complicating the thing. Okay, so everything can be done using either row operation or column operation. Make it a point. So first of all, interchange of any two rows. In case of determinant, there will be one minus sign outside. But in case of matrix, and particularly in case of these properties, the uh, skews, yeah, rank of the matrix, independence, vector space related properties, independence of vectors, all these things, this interchange will not make any difference. Any no change will take this. So interchange of row, then another row operations is what is that? Multiplying any op row with some scalar, multiplying any row with some scalar, any real number, and third one is multiplying any num any two rows with multi scalar and adding them or subtracting them to the third matrix to, to the third row. Suppose I multiply uh, the second row with five, and I can subtract this thing from the fourth. Row. I can multiply any row with any scalar and I can subtract or add it, subtract or add it to any other row. The effect will be the effect will be on the target row, not on the multiplied row. Okay. So keep in your mind these are the possible row operations defined for a matrix. Now, using these rows operations, we can always we can always convert a matrix to a row echelon form. Okay. Now Often you do the mistake because you do it haphazardly. So don't do it haphazardly. Okay, listen to me carefully what I'm doing, how, how you have to reduce it. First of all, you have to reduce these three cell elements in the first column. This is the first column, okay? Three elements to zero, okay? In, so leave this first row intact. Don't change the first row. It is not needed at all. Do not change the first row. Keep it as it is. Then go for the first element of the first column, three. Then second element, first column. So second, uh, first element, second column. Uh, so sorry, first, first element, first column. And uh, first element, first column. All this first row, second row, third row, fourth row. Make them zero. So in this matrix, all these three, five, zero should be brought zero here by suitable row operations. By suitable, suitably chosen row operation, we should try to bring zero at this position in the first column, three, five, zero, except these first cell elements. Got it? After getting these three things zero, then we will try to bring zero for the second column and third row and fourth row position. That is this two and three, two and three. This should be zero. And finally, after getting these three zero, we will try to make the third column and the fourth row, that is this two will be zero. That means actually this part, the lower part, lower triangular part, the lower triangular part should be made zero. If you can make this thing zero, that will be a simple row echelon matrix. And by doing that, automatically some other uh, rows, maybe automatically other cell values will be zero. Okay. So here C, first of all, what is done? The first row is multiplied with half. So it will be 2042 multiplied with half will be 1021. 1021 multiplied with half. Now we will make this thing 30. What to do? We will multiply the first row with 3 and subtract this thing. So 3 into 1 minus 30. 3, 3 into 0 minus 2, 2. Okay, 3 into 2, 6, 6 minus 6, 0. And 3 into 1, 3, 5 minus 3, 2. So 0, 2, 0, 2. These are the Second row. Okay. Then third row. R2 minus 3 R1. R2 minus 3 R1. Oh, it is already done. R2 minus 3 R1. And then R3 minus 5 R1. Third row. R2 minus 3 R1. So 5 into 1 minus 5 is 0. 5 into 0 minus 2 is 2. 5 into 2, 10. 10 minus 10, 0. In 5 into 1, 5. 7 minus 5, 2. So zero two zero two, okay.
Then after that, we are again multiplying the second row with half. So it will be 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, what is my target? I have to bring these two things 0, 2, 0, 3, 0 at these positions. I should make 0. So I will uh, multiply the second row with 2 and subtract. Okay. Why I should not use the first row? Anybody can tell me. After getting these three zero, never we should involve the first row in the row operations. Why? Sir, when we will subtract, then there will be one by two. That is not the issue. If I if I can make these things this, by, by making this, suppose this is not zero. So I can by suitably choosing this thing, I can make this thing zero also by the form of a first row. But what is the problem? First column, so, sir, disturb order. Ah, disturb Very good. So whatever zero I have already achieved, this, those will be undone. So the thing will be actually spoiled. So you should not, your row operation should bring more zero in a systematic manner, but not to uh, disrupt or undone the already achieved zeros, already um, uh, zeros are already brought. That is why we should not use the first row after getting all these uh, first column elements, second and third and fourth elements are zero. So now we will use only the second row. If I use the second row, that will be zero. So two into one minus two zero, two into zero minus zero zero, two into one zero. So that will be zero 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 zero. Okay. So zero one zero one zero 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 zero. And again, uh, to make this thing three zero, multiply this thing with three. So it will be uh, intact. It will be three in minus one into minus three zero. 3 into 0 is 0, 3 into 3 is 2. So 0, 0, 2, 2. Okay. Now we are getting, what we are getting? We are interchanging this 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 2, 2. R3, 4. R3, means 3 to 4 and 4 to 3. This interchange is being done. R, row 3 to row 4 and row 4 to row 3. So I get finally this thing. Now we have already achieved. This part is not necessary. This part is already achieved. The number of zero is zero, then one, then two, and then all four. So please note that we have already achieved one all null rows. So the rank of the matrix is not four but three. And no other once it is once it is reduced to row echelon form, no more zero satisfying this condition. Satisfying this condition of row echelon matrix, no more zero can be found, can be brought. So now we can infer that the rank of the matrix is three, and the number of independent vectors are three, number of dependent vectors are one. That means out of these four vectors from the original matrix, one vector is dependent. That can be generated from the other vectors, other three vectors. Are you clear? Now, what is the immediate application of this thing? The immediate application of this thing is Gauss elimination, elimination method. Okay. By reducing the coefficient matrix and the entire matrix, augmented matrix, to a row echelon form, we can readily find the solutions. This will be particularly useful for higher order systems uh, with four equations, four unknown. Up to three, it is it may be easy in grammar school, but when it is four or five, it will be very difficult or time consuming or computation oriented for grammar school. Okay. Because calculating the determinant of fourth order or fifth order is will be long process. So it is always uh, better, handy to use the row echelon matrix method concept to solve. And that is actually done by Gauss. It is called Gauss elimination method. Okay. So let us solve. Okay. I will not show you the result. Let us solve this thing by ourselves. Okay. Okay.
Okay. So these are uh, all of you. All of you also write down this system. Okay. All of you write down this system. Then you will be able to verify this thing. So one. I am writing the coefficient and the inhomogeneous part. One minus two nine eight. Okay. One minus two nine eight. Let me write it. So one. Minus two nine eight. Actually, there should be one dotted line, but I cannot cannot write it. So in, in this math equation, I, it is very difficult to write. So just you understand, then it will be okay. Okay, one minus two nine. There should be one dotted line, then eight. Is eight plus the inhomogeneous part? Okay, then three one minus one three three one minus one three. Okay, then three. Sorry, three, one, minus one, three. Then two minus eight, one minus five. Two minus eight, one minus five. Okay. Two minus eight, one minus five. Okay. Now, so which cell element should be brought zero on the first attempt? Tell me. The second row and third row first elements. The second row and third row first elements. First, first uh, column. First column, second row, third row. Okay. So this three and two. This three and two. So what should be the row operations? Tell me. What should be the row operations? It can be. R two minus R one. Okay. So R two minus three. R two minus three R one. R two is equal to R two is equal to R two minus three R one. Into into R one into R one and and what next? We have to put this two to zero. So R three is equal to R three minus two R one R one. Okay. Then let us again. Draw it. So first row, I told you, it will put it intact. This will be zero. This will be zero. And what the other things? This one. Okay. Now three minus three. So minus six. So one minus minus six. So seven. Nah. You also follow it. Otherwise, if I make some mistake, it will be difficult. So minus six, minus six. Then. One minus minus six seven okay. Then this will be three nines twenty seven, and minus one. Minus one minus twenty seven so minus twenty eight isn't it? Minus twenty eight. Uh, this should be three into eight twenty four three minus twenty four that is three minus twenty four that is minus twenty one. Is that okay? Then this should be zero. Then minus two into two, so minus four. Then so minus eight, minus four. Minus eight, minus minus plus four. So minus four. Minus eight minus plus four. Okay. Then eighteen. So one minus eighteen. That is minus seventeen. One minus eighteen. That is minus seventeen. And this should be eight into two, so sixteen minus five minus sixteen. That is minus twenty one. Is that okay? Plus, first of all, check it. Then I will uh, go further. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. 
then what is the next element should be brought zero here keeping in mind the rho echelon condition the number minus. of zero should be increasing minus 4 this thing is minus 4 should be made zero in the next attempt isn't it minus 4 should be, should be made zero and i told you not to use the first row so it will be r3 is equal to r3 plus plus if i multiply the second row with 4 by 7 okay 4 by 7 so that will be 4 and plus it will make it 0 is that okay everybody is sure So this will be zero. This will be okay. So four by seven. Four by seven means seven fours are the minus sixteen. Minus sixteen, minus thirty-three. That is minus seventeen. So that is thirty-three. Okay. And this should be four by seven. Seven three twenty-one. Minus twelve. Minus twelve and plus minus twenty-one. So minus 33. Okay. So from that, if I now again write the equations, again putting back the x, y, z and inogenous part, that means I want to write it again in the ax plus b form. So what I can write x minus x minus 2y plus 9z equal to 8 first equation then 7y minus 28z 7y minus 28z that is equal to minus 21 and minus 33z is equal to minus 33 from that Immediately I can, what I get, z equal to, what is the value of z, tell me. One. one. Okay, one. from the last equation I am getting z equal to 1. Now, put the value of z in the second equation. This is called backtracking, backtracking. So, z equal to 1. So, minus 28, that will make it uh, 27. So, y equal to 1 again. Yes, sir. Then again, putting the value of yz in the first equation. So that should give you minus 2 plus 9, that is 7. 8 minus 7 is x equal to 1. OK. So please note that this equation is also satisfying the original equation, this solution. This solution is also satisfying the original equation. So this way, if it is a 4 by 4 matrix, 5 by no problem, just to bring the zero systematically and that will really solve the problem everybody is clear what is the application of rho echelon form I hope everybody can see this thing. Okay. The same thing is done here, but I did it by our own so that the concept is clear. But they are saying why should be minus one. Why? Let's check it. Why should be minus one? Is there any mistake in this problem? Minus twenty here. R three is equal to 
R3 is equal to R3 minus 2 R1 and R2 is equal to R2 minus 3 R1, 3 minus 7, 7 then minus 1, minus 20, it should be minus 20. What is happening here? No, 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 sorry, sorry. This is example 2. This is the problem. x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to example 2. Okay. It's okay. My our our equation reduction reduction is okay. These are the reductions. Okay. X minus 2 y plus 9 is equal to 8. 7 y minus 20 is equal to 21. Minus 33 is equal to minus 33. Okay. Okay. Second problem, the same same way we will solve. I will not I am not solving it. You can solve it. I am giving as an exercise. Okay, all of you solve it. The solution will be 1 minus 1, 1. Okay, I am not uh, going any far. In the next class, I am start the uh, vector space and uh, eigen, eigen vector, eigen value, all these things I will start. So, uh, practice these uh, problems, this part from the book. Be prepared, then we will go for the next part. Okay. So, everybody give your attendance and leave. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm sending it to you.